smoky red with rage. I gave him a smirk as Dad made a toast for it. Later that night, I thought about a plan to give back to Leo. He'd told me about an orphanage he had set up, and I decided I'd donate books and laptops to the kids there. I talked to Dad about it, and he was happy to support me. The next day at school, I was waiting for Leo at the canteen to talk about it, when suddenly, Ford came and took my plate of spaghetti and rubbed it in my face. I told you not to mess with me. As I angrily rubbed it off my face with tissues, I suddenly realized people were staring at me in shock. Oh no, all of my makeup was gone. Oh look, there's poop on her face. Breaking news, everyone. My sister's been hiding this gross birthmark under her makeup for years. Look, Leo, she's even deceived you just so she could be your girlfriend. I tried to hide it, but it was too late. Leo had arrived and was staring at me. I was about to run away when suddenly he grabbed Ford by the collar and pushed him up against the wall. She's still the most beautiful girl in the world to me, but you sure are the biggest jerk. I heard everyone actually agreeing with him, but Ford started laughing like a maniac. Okay, the poop mark didn't change your mind, so how about this? To my surprise, Zach showed up from behind him and started playing a recorder with an evil grin. Why are you flirting with this guy? I thought our breakup isn't official yet. Don't take it personally. I just need him to help me get his father's approval for my dad's project. Blood drained from my face as we all listened to the whole conversation. I couldn't believe my ex-boyfriend teamed up with my evil brother. I tearfully ran after a furious Leo. Leo, please, let me explain. Explain what? That I was just part of your stupid plan? I can't believe I actually fell for a spoiled brat like you. Yes, I, I planned it, but then I started to have real feelings for you. Yeah, right. Please, don't ever talk to me again. He ignored me completely after that, and I lost all my motivation. Ford took it as an opportunity to redeem himself. He spent tons of money on billboards across the city advertising Dad's clothing stores with himself and Tiffany as models. The sales actually went up. A few days later, Dad informed us that he'd finally made a decision. I was sure Ford had won, but I didn't even care by now. I decided to give everything to... Ford had already gotten up with a proud smirk. Barbara, congratulations, darling. I'll see you in my office tomorrow for the signing of the papers. Wait, what? Suddenly, Ford went psycho. You can't do this to me, Dad. I've worked so hard for this. It's not too late to change your mind. I based my decision on how you spent my money the past month. You wasted $10 million and never did anything meaningful. Barbara proved her interest by learning about the company. And she even made a huge project happen. You're talking nonsense, you stupid old man. And then I just snapped. I flung a glass of juice at his face. You can... A day in the life of your dog's mouth is not pretty. Luckily, they have you. And you have dental life. Chewy, tasty, and proven to reduce tartar buildup for a clean, healthy mouth. You and dental life to the rescue. Insult me all you want, but don't you dare talk like that to our dad, you jerk! You're gonna pay for this! Before he could hurt me, dad called his bodyguards to take Ford away. He grounded him in his room and I could hear him destroying things all day. He was scaring me. The next day, I fell asleep in my bathtub and then I woke up. I realized that my phone was gone. I got up to find it, but the door was locked, as well as the windows. Just then, lots of bugs started to crawl in from somewhere. I screamed, but no one seemed to hear me. Help! Someone, please, open the freaking door! The bugs were getting nearer, and I passed out. Dad's worried face was the first thing I saw when I opened my eyes again. I was in the hospital. My darling, Barbie, thank God you're okay. Dad, Ford tried to hurt me. I know. Your brother's gone. I sent him away to a boarding school in Russia. I was surprised and relieved at the same time. Maybe I shouldn't have made you two compete. It was a stupid decision, and it made Ford crazy. Even you started dating someone you don't even like. No, Dad. It's the complete opposite. I really like Leo. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Suddenly, Leo showed up from behind Dad. And you're the best thing that happened to me, too. L Leo... What are you doing here? I heard you were in the hospital, so I had to come see you. And your dad also talked to me about your plan with the orphanage. The kids would really love that. 
Does this mean you've decided to forgive me? I'm so sorry, Leo. Barbie, I understand the pressure your dad put you through, and I think it was a smart plan. If it wasn't for that, you wouldn't have even noticed me. I've always noticed you. I just thought you were too serious for me. Yeah, I'm indeed serious about you. Okay. <laughs> I think you deserve another chance to get to know me. I love you. I love you too. Hi, my name is Ada and I'm from New York. Me and my twin sister Gia were born to two very chaotic parents who fought like Tom and Jerry all the time. And on the very day we were born, they picked up a twin each and decided to make us the best version of themselves. Ada is hungry. She needs milk. Oh, since you chose her, why don't you feed her from your nipples? Yep, Dad picked me, and growing up, he taught me the Turkish language because he was from Turkey. And Gia was Mom's favorite, so Mom taught her Italian because she was from Italy. Although we spoke English at home, that whole language thing kind of became the reason for all the chaos and misunderstandings in the family. Because of Mom and Dad's fights, I could never get close to Mom, and I hated that. So once, when I was eight, I decided to make a card for mom for the new year and asked Gia for help. When mom saw it, she went ballistic. Say una vaca grassa, which meant you're a fat cow. God, you're so rude, Ada, just like your jerk dad. I always knew I made the right choice by picking Gia. I was furious. That witch made me do this. I ran to Gia and pulled her by her hair. Why did you do that to me? Because dad loves you more than me and I hate it. So what? Mom loves you more than me. Just then, mom came and separated us and said something to Gia in Italian. What did you say? Not your freaking business. Go to your daddy and hug him. But Gia glared at me and spit at my face and another fight broke out. She beat me to it and I got a black eye, but I was so gonna get back at her. The funny thing was about us, Gia and I were identical twins. We both